Hello and welcome, I'm Tim and this is Tim BSC and we are approaching New York City. It's been a while since this boat's been back up there. Always good to go back. But uh, we're doing something different today. We're uh, going in not through Ambrose Channel. Let me show you how this works here. So this is New York Harbor up here. This is all Long Island. Staten Island over here, New Jersey, all like this. This is what they call Sandy Hook, New Jersey. And so this channel that goes in is Ambrose Channel. But we're going in here, the Sandy Hook Channel, and we're coming up to a place called the Scotland Buoy. See that S right there? Anyway, so we're towing in here. We'll be going around and uh, maybe switch to a different chart here so you can see a little better. Maybe that didn't work. <laughs> maybe, maybe that didn't work as well as I wanted it to. <laughs> well, isn't that bizarre? All right, let me go back to where we were. There we go. All right, so we're going to be coming in here like this. We're going to be going through this channel, going up here like this. Ooh, I hope you're seeing that. Sorry. Coming in here like this, around here like this, up into Raritan Bay. Be going over to the Perth Amboy Anchorage. We'll be breaking tow there and then going into uh, Seawarn. But my problem is, it doesn't look that bad. I don't know if you can see it or not, but like there's some waves that are coming this way, but there's a huge ground swell that's going that way. So we're just creeping along here. I've got the engines about less than half, and I'm really concerned about the wire. I can't really go much faster than I'm going because of the pressure on the wire. Okay, right now the wire is behaving really well. I'd like to have the barge shorter, but if I do that, I'm gonna have to slow down. The barge is following right behind us, which will be real nice when we get in the... Okay, now you see we're coming in between the swells, and you can see the wire coming up. That's not bad, that's still well within the parameter. You can see the donut jumping around as the tension of the wire is going, kind of like a piano string. Anyway, we've got it good right now, but you can see, I don't know if it's showing up on the camera, but you can see the swells that are rolling our way, even though the chop is going the opposite way. So what happens is when that when the, when the barge and the tug get out of line, um, you know, out of step, the wire comes up tight, and that's not good. We don't. We so uh, there's I can handle that. I can uh, slow down. Uh, I can slow down or let out more wire, and I don't want to let out more wire right now because we're coming up to the channel. So. I have to keep slowing down if it continues to be a problem. As you can see, we're coming by the Scotland buoy. There's the Scotland buoy right there, the red and the white buoy. That's called a Raycon buoy. It uh, interrogates the radar to give a nice response back so you know where it is. And then when we get up here, we'll get lined up with the channel and hopefully go through fine. As I get in here, I anticipate the swell to be reduced and uh, I'll be shortening up all the time. I have about three layers out right now, and I'd really like to have two out, but like I say, I keep surging on the wire, so don't want to, I have to keep that wire as long as I can for four as long as I can. But I'll check in with you as we go. Okay, so you can see we got lined up here with the channel. It's a six minute line going to there. And the barge is right behind us now. So it's tracking pretty good. The wind is coming right at us. You, look, you still see that huge, uh, huge swell. So I had to keep slowing down. I got the chief here to help me. 
I don't expect to see that swell go away until I get into shoaler water. So I gotta kinda leave the wire at it as it is. The good news is is that the barge is hanging right behind us, which is just what we want, so I shouldn't get caught up in any buoys today. At least that's the hope. See the radar over there. Ship coming out of Ambrose. Tug and barge going in. We're headed in to Sandy Hook. Okay, so we've made it quite a far ways into the channel. It feels as though we still got this chop coming this way, which shouldn't hurt us at all, but the swell behind us is what I'm concerned about. So the chief is going to keep an eye on things up here. He's steering, and I'm going to go back there. Six minute line. I got six minutes to haul in the layer. It should only take a minute or so. And, uh,. So here we go. All right, Chief, you have the con. All right. All right. I've left the winch on, the motor. Just creeping the wire in. 
can see it's just rolling very slowly over there. having a short wire obviously going through the channel is one advantage but another advantage is that um, you can also slow down um, if I slow down with a lot of wire out the wire falls down to the bottom or if it's windy you won't have enough weight on the barge will fall off in the wind but the wind is pretty much coming on it's okay the wire came up tight but it's just there it's not really surging on the wire we're still looking good. We're still just creep, 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 getting every inch of wire we can. Coming in nice and slow. Here it comes. Oh, that's beautiful. All right, I think we're going to be about, I think that's about as good as we're going to get. So I'm going to wait until it comes up again and I'll stop. See the wire starts to fall. So even that little bit is just enough to have it advance on. Put the interlock brake on and leave the winch on so I can come running back and suck in some more and get further. The chief has us dead center in the channel. It's all looking good. Good job, chief. All right, if you look at the radar, what we're seeing, these are the two buoys for the next set that we're going through. Here's the barge, and if the wind was blowing, luckily the wind's blowing right at us, so the barge is off a little bit, but if it's falling off, we can see the back of the radar return and the buoy to see if we're going to fit through. But the Sandy Hook Channel is a pretty big one, and we're uh, doing good, so everything's looking good right now. Now we're ready to do our turn, and something I'm concerned is, is the wind's coming this way, and as we go this way, we're going to have the barge blow down onto the green buoys, but I think we're going to be fine. Keep putting a little input into the autopilot. I don't know if it shows up on camera. You see that beach right there? That's Sandy Hook Point. If you look right to the right of that beach, you'll see the green buoys. That's the edge of the channel. There's our barge. Looks like it's hanging off pretty far the port side, but that's actually because we're turning right now. So hopefully when we get straight, It'll fall behind us. So this is a tricky one when you go in. It's not tricky, it's just scary. I mean, every channel, you should uh, make sure that you don't go out of the channel <laughs> when you're, you know, a commercial vessel. But uh, in this case, I was telling Luke, sometimes it's better to go at night because you don't see it. But in the daytime, you're a lot calmer because you can see it and know that you're where you're supposed to be. <laughs> They're like anything in this business. If I did this, you know, I've been in here a bunch of times over my career, but it's nothing like going into Ambrose where I've done that a gazillion times. And so the more you do something, the easier it becomes. So we're doing a 5.7 knots. I haven't even reduced speed, that's just a result of the tide. Uh, the chief and I saw a tide line when we came in here, so I assume the tide is falling right now, so the tide is pouring out. And uh, now that we are uh, bucking the tide, it's slowing us down. Now we're down to 5.3. Once again, I haven't even touched the engines. I look on the radar, and once again, see this buoy right here, in that corner. I'm going to keep going up like this. This is the direction that I'm headed like that. I'm headed like this, but I want to 
want to get up there and have that barge fall in behind us. That's the hope. So there's our buoy. You can see the tide tail going behind the buoy. So the tide's pouring out. The barge's going to make it fine. And look, there's the beach right there. This next buoy is all right, but BTS told me the 16 buoy is not in position. They didn't tell me if that meant it was in the channel or out of the channel, but it shouldn't really make a difference. As long as it's not in the channel, if you have a trouble getting around it, it'll be fine. Yep. Anyway, from the beaches over at Wilmington over to the beaches in Sandy Hook, New Jersey. <laughs> The chief and I were just saying that uh, Sandy Hook is uh, the home of my alma mater, the Sandy Hook Institute of Technology. <laughs> okay, so we made it inside. Let me pull this back a little bit so you guys can see what we've done here. So we came in through here, went by the beach. Oops, sorry about that. Came in through here, went by the beach. Came in here and Instead of shortening up, because it's nice here, barge is following right behind us, I have increased speed. And it doesn't look like it's that much, but we were doing like five, so I increased by about two knots, which is substantial for us. Going down the channel, now let's go have a look at the wire. this on my own the school of thought the people that have taught me say wire coming out of the water is fine it's when it comes up and goes Burr, and really puts a shock load on things that we have to worry about so in this case with the wire out of water and it being relatively calm and we're not searching at all I think we're fine so now we've got about uh, almost 10 miles to go to get up the first hand boy and then we'll uh, pull off on the barge and get in bush here Okay, so we've got all the way up, just about to Perth Amboy, coming in the channel. As you can see, we've got our speed reduced to 3.3 knots. This is the Perth Amboy Am Anchorage. Unfortunately, barges don't aren't required to have any uh, AIS, and as you can see, there's some that I think are over there, straight ahead, that I think are on a mooring, and then there's some crane barges, construction barges, all like lightering stuff that's over here. I think that may be out of the channel I'm not really sure so I'm not sure how much room we're gonna have to be able to do what we need to do and uh, speaking of which as you can see not only did we get slowed down but I've got the barge shortened right up so it's just right there the guys have got the push gear ready to go and uh, the plan we might have to go to another plan because we might not have room to do this but the plan is to do what we call popping the pin and that's where we get the barge kind of into the wind we pull the pennant over the Texas bar we hook up a little line to it put that uh, take the nut off the end of it and then uh, pull the pin the pennant is released and we run around getting the notch that would be great if that works the thing is that you don't you, you, you we, we have to let the barge go so we won't have control of the barge for a few minutes. So we need to make sure that we have the real estate to do that. And that's something that we're not really quite sure of. We won't know until we make the turn up here. All right, so all of the stuff we were worried about before, we didn't need to be worried about. The optical illusion. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway, we're gonna go right up here. You can see the tide working on the buoy there. So we're gonna end up in a direction. I don't know if you can see it, but there's some paddleboard or paddle boarding in February in the middle of Rar Raritan Bay. It's going to be right where we want to be. <laughs> anyway, Luke's going to get us put up there. We're going to shorten up the wire and get ready to get this thing to do our secret little trick. As you can see, we've got it shortened up, but now I need to get it real short. 
So, what I'm going to do is go like this. Hopefully you guys can still see everything. Can you still see everything? Yeah, maybe you can't see everything that way. I'm trying to avoid having to fucking hold on to anything. Alright, anyway. I need to start bringing this in. So just a little bit on the wire. See the drum. As I do that, the wire lifts up. See the tankerman's all ready to go. All right, you know what? I'm going to put this outside, and I can talk to you with my wireless mic, hopefully. Hopefully I'm doing everything right. You get a lot of heat from everybody about not having the audio right. So I'm trying hard. Luke, let me know when you get to two, two or three minutes. So you can see that uh, what we call the socket is coming up with the uh, shackle going to the pedant. So I need to bring that over the Texas bar. See the chief down there, he's filming on his camera. <laughs> So, Chief, just hang on. Don't do anything yet, all right? Because uh, I, I need to get it stopped. Okay, so uh, you guys probably want me. To, no, no, that's probably good right there, right? Go ahead. You can hook up the. You can hook up your line. Okay, Roger that. Safety pin out. They're going to shackle into the end of the pin. The trick is to put tension on the pin without pulling it out. Now I drop. All right, here we go. All right, Luke, it's all yours, and we are going ahead. We're here. I'll put two in clutch. It's all yours. All right. All right, we get ready for that bow line. Good job out there, guys. So the barge is still here, still in the same position, same attitude, everything's going good. Jack's on the back, ready to receive. You can see Luke falling down with the tide, which is just, he's a master at this. So he gets it rolled right around. 200 tons of tugboat pulling into the corner here makes it come in look so easy now what Luke has to do is he's got to get in here but he, do, he doesn't want to push on it because if he pushes on it it's going to go one way or the other and right now it's stalled out right into the wind and the tide 
So if he goes and uh, gets in here real easy until we get the headline up and then the push gear up, uh, he's got to go really easy and not really bang on it. And he's going nice and really good right now. There's Luke right there. And it's not like a car. You remember that the clutches have delays. It takes a long time for the engines to produce power, so you kind of got to time everything. All right. Jack's got that all set. Okay, pulling that line around. Chris is going to start taking the turns on that. Now, at this point, we're out of danger. And what I mean by that is if we had to, we could back down and, and stop yeah. everything if we needed to. Um, but because we're not in any danger and everything's good, everything's going good, um, they're going to start putting up the push gear right now. Put up the port side first, and we'll move over and put up the other side. man who just had a hernia operation is pulling that up. Can you believe that? He's a superman. Strong like bull! <laughs> Alright, so we've got one leg of the push gear up. They're going to put the other side up and I'm going to make sure that we don't run out of like for example, you're going to see I need to pull that wire in because I don't want the, when the slack comes out, I don't want it to pull it past the shiv. The shiv is the round thing over there. So as the as we start moving over, that line comes tight. See how it's pulling over here? I need to make sure that it goes back. It doesn't go too far back. And I think I've got it just right. And I do. Look at that. Stop perfect. <laughs> I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> okay. Too bad I didn't get it right when I was uh, pulling the pin. <laughs> anyway. Jack's pulling up the other leg of the push gear. Once I get that set, I'll go and tighten up on the winch. Okay, he's good to go. So now I come over here. sure the shivs are good. Get a thumbs up. Everything's good. Apply tension. And we're in. All systems secure. I'm going to put the interlock on. Shut down the winch. Woohoo! All right. So the lion's share of the work is done. Now Luke's going to take this up and dock it. Uh, 10 minutes, 15 minutes? Do you want safeties? Um, I don't... Let me ask Luke if he wants them. Hang on. So, stand by a second here. Hey. Hey, hey you, um, don't, you don't want safeties. You're just going around the corner, do you? I er, do want safeties. Okay. So yeah, we, he wants them. How you doing, you old grumpy bastard? Yeah. All right, nice job. You held us right in position. Look at that loop. Nice tight loop. You know what I did? Something that we do is uh, Luke and I always do a little post game. We kind of uh, recap what we did here. Um, I had the the wire too far forward, so when it went back, it made a, a made slack. So it's supposed to be completely tight right over it. So that when it went over, it went over and I had to end up pulling it. 
It, it, it worked, but it was ugly. It wasn't as nice as I wanted it. I, I can kind of see it on the camera there. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you can see we did a nice tight circle there, so we didn't lose too much room. We didn't get out of position. And that's about it. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, really appreciate it. Uh, you, you get anything out of these videos, be sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment, or run over to Patreon and uh, sign up on the Patreon. Or you can buy Luke a drink. If you hit uh, <laughs> Luke, <laughs> you can buy Luke a drink. Hit that uh, super like button. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you so much. And uh, if you guys are feeling extra special, you can uh, help me out by helping me grow my other channel, SV Paquita. I'll put links in the description below. Take care, be safe, and I'll see you on the one.